this one I'm gonna I'm gonna generalize kind of what's going on here. They're asking about deficit polls, black polls, but I think the the basis of the whole question is with your programming, you do a lot of compound movements and not really a whole lot of more isolation type movements like the 45 degree uh, back raise, hamstring curls, reverse hypers, other things that are listed on there. Um, so the question's more along the lines of why why do you do that? kind of self-explanatory yeah, well, but i'll let you explain that i mean the thing for me is i you know i need to work on uh, what i do is i use the compound lifts that sort of change the leverages and i like to build up a lot of volume with those because i feel like the the training volume on you know on like reps you know sets of like four or five six seven eight uh, i feel like that's conducive to building dense muscle and it builds up enough volume which is kind of critical for building muscle and therefore strength like if i if I if I want my back squat to go up and I just do a bunch of back squats for me the problem is I start just relying on my back strength too much it's not the best way to build the back strength it's not the best way to build the leg strength for me so if I do other lifts like uh, front squats or safety bar squats or uh, you know like these are good ways or paused high bar squats these are a good way to build the quads for me better than probably the just the regular squats and if I do good mornings and stiff leg deadlifts these are good ways to build my back strength probably even better than uh just the back squats. So I put in a lot of volume on these lifts, which I kind of cycle from time to time and I identify as lifts that are going to target my weak points or even, you know, strong points, but build them up better than, than the big lift. I want to do the, the big lifts enough so that I'm like confident and proficient, you know, and I can handle the, I mean, the, the big lift should optimize your strengths. So that means, you know, how wide do you stand? You know, how much do you sit back or stay upright? You know, those kind of things just adjust, like, how much of a balance you're putting on the different joints and different muscles. You know, so you want to use the optimal one to lift the most weight there, but you also want to build up each leverage point kind of individually. And that's how I look at it. And if I just did the main squats over and over again, I feel like I would just stagnate anyway. Like I said, I would always use my back too much once the weights got harder or heavier. For context, how would you define volume? I know it's kind of a weird question, but some people will define it as being uh, sets times reps is total volume, where workload would be sets times reps times weight is workload. Um, so when you're speaking about volume, are you speaking about you know the total tonnage or are you speaking about total repetitions? Just to put some context behind your definition, it's interchange. People interchange how they use it. Sure, it's just. As an answer like this, I think it's important for people to know exactly what context. I mean, I, I basically start off by thinking of sets and reps. Okay. So, I mean, I don't, I don't really count like, you know, if I do a couple hard sets of five as part of a workout and I did warm-up sets of five, I don't really count the warm-ups. And, you know, I don't really count it that yeah. much. You know, so if, I, if I'm saying I'm going to do like three sets of five, there's a bunch of warm-ups probably. And then there's three like meaningful sets. Um, I think it's important to make sure there's enough volume. So you're not just going heavier and then like losing volume. That's kind of where the, like the traditional linear periodization yeah. kind of falls, yes. falls, yes. you know, away. Is there not a volume after? Yeah. So with the compound lifts, I try to use those in certain rep ranges. Cause I feel like that's going to give me the best improvement in strength in you know, dense muscle and strength. Um, so I think about it in sets and reps and the, and the weight is, you know, it's kind of, if I'm lifting with the, you know, what I call intensity where I'm yeah. you're doing hard sets and I'm trying to push more than I did last week, then yeah. I don't really think about it as like a, like just the weight or the percent, but really more just sets and reps. All right.